You're welcome in Dyden Hill, always. <laughs> I don't know how you survived, but I am glad you did. Thanks to you, there hasn't been an attack in a while now. Until later, then. Ah, the castle. This tells me that your tavern will be a part of Loch Dyden for decades to come. Last month you told me that the plague would take us all. I know, but that's not what fate says anymore. Damn it, Agarth. You're cut off. Yeah, and I bet I know whose fault that is. I? It's your fault that I can't pay my tab, you know. I wasn't ever supposed to come back here in the first place. I've spent the last 20 years knowing what fate had in store for me. And then you... Damn it. I thought I had my life figured out. Not for a fate weaver, it isn't. But that's just the problem. When I was young, I thought I could overcome anything. Now, I know otherwise. I fought beasts the size of trees, was celebrated by mortals and fae alike. When I was initiated into the Fate Weavers, I thought it was a reward for my good deeds. The first time I saw my own fate, I realized it was nothing but a curse. Naturally. But it wasn't a hero's death, like I'd always assumed. It was a coward's death, old and alone, like any mortal. I tried to avoid it, but I knew it'd find me. It was terrible, but I knew it was part of fate's greater plan. Then you came and changed that future. You stole my part in the tapestry. I was at peace with knowing the worst. But what do I do now that there's nothing to know? I don't doubt your intentions. Just realize that we fate weavers have long accepted that the reason for some things were beyond our understanding. Not everyone would trust your intentions, or your foresight. Your freedom means living with a lot of responsibility. I can't help you with that, but maybe this will help lessen the other dangers you face. Take it with my thanks. Oh, of course. There's still a band of Tawatha tracking you. But as I was about to say, I found where they're set up. It's a cavern to the north of town, complete with some way of scrying your location. That's how they found you so easily. I have a plan, but it'll take both of us to work. They took a big risk getting across Erethel undetected. All to attack one single objective. You. They're using something big to track you. They call it the Eyes of Tirnok. Smash it, and they won't be following you anymore. The main entrance is heavily guarded, and will require a strong attack. The other route is trapped. It'll need a subtler approach. I don't have an answer for that. I can't imagine what about you made Gadflo send his troops across the continent. Good, good. I'll charge in the front and get their attention. You slip in and smash the eyes of Turnock. That way we'll make sure they can't escape to report back to whoever sent them here. Good luck. Have a seat. Come to town for the craft hall?
This is their escape route. It'll have traps, but few guards. You might be able to use their defenses against them, if you're clever. I'll distract the guards at the front and make sure none of them escape. The mine has a main entrance and an escape tunnel. The main one is heavily guarded, and the escape is heavily trapped. I saw them bringing bargasts down in cages probably still being trained. Turn the beasts free, and I bet they cause some chaos for you. The eyes of Tiernok are two immense Prismere mirrors. Long as the Tawatha had them trained on you, they'll find you anywhere. We'll be attacking their camp from both sides. We can't have any of them escaping to report back. Good luck. I'll see you inside.
Dying mortal has grown tired of running, has he? Decided to fight back? Can you tell me the difference between a creature of nature and a child of dust like yourself? We children of nature know our roles. Meek and mighty. Prey and predators. Life and death. All serve the cycle. You children of dust do not know your place. You come into our land. You come to face your hunters. And you, you don't know when to die. No mortal, perhaps, but I am Gadflo, blessed herald of the merciful Tiernach. Our army shall cleanse the world of your mortal imperfection. And you, all mortals end, even if some are more persistent than others. At least the Tawatha won't be able to track you so easily now. But it looks like you've got the personal attention of their king, Gadflo. If you were anyone else, I'd suggest you start running and not stop for a few years. But you might just have a chance. You're a mortal that survived death. You exist outside of fate. The Fae do not deal well with change, and you represent a threat to whatever has driven them to this war. And as much as I hate to say it, you'll need to take Aelin Shear up on her offer of help. The Codex of Destiny should hold some answers for you. For all I know, you already met with her at the House of Ballads, but it sounds like she's the only lead now. We should be able to get out this way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 